Manta and Mobula rays are some of the most captivating and charismatic of marine species. These graceful giants inhabit the tropics across the world. Their populations are currently unknown, and many questions remain unanswered regarding their behavior and biology. What is known, however, is that these species are slow growing, taking eight to 10 years or more to mature. They can live for more than 40 years and produce very few young. A manta ray will give birth to only a single pup every two to five years. Scientists believe that specific regional populations may be genetically different to each other. These characteristics make manta and mobula rays extremely vulnerable to overfishing, regional depletion and local extinction. Indonesia, Sri Lanka and India have the largest documented targeted fisheries. Fisheries are also reported in Thailand, China, Mozambique, Ghana, Peru, Mexico, and other locations. Annual global landings are reported at around 3,400 mantas and roughly 94,000 mobulas. Unreported and subsistence fisheries will mean that true landings are likely much higher. In the past decade, the growing markets for manta and mobula ray gills have significantly increased fishing effort the largest documented subpopulation of oceanic manta rays. The estimated annual global landings of manta rays documented in fisheries. The estimated annual global landings of mobula rays documented in fisheries. A mature oceanic manta ray can yield up to seven kilos of dried gills retailing for as much as 500 US dollars per kilo, many times the nominal value of the meat. As a result, the past decade has seen significant declines in both number and size of manta rays landed in Indonesia, Mozambique, India, and Thailand. At the same time, this overfishing is driving fisheries into rapid decline. Mantas have all but disappeared from the Sea of Cortez. Fishermen in the Philippines reported a 50% decline in manta ray landings from the 1960s to the 1990s. And in Sri Lanka, fishermen also reported declines in catches. Historically, both fisheries and markets have been largely unrecorded and completely unregulated. Manta and mobula gill rakers are sold as a purported treatment for a wide array of ailments. Yet the traditional Chinese medicine practitioners interviewed stated that gill rakers are not a legitimate or acknowledged component of mainstream traditional Chinese medicine, but more of a folk cure. The hub of the trade is in Guangzhou, southern China, that represents as much as 99% of the global market. Analysis of the market places the total annual gill raker trade in excess of 61,000 kilograms, and perhaps as high as 80,000 kilograms. With an estimated global retail value of only 11.3 million US dollars per year, this is a tiny business that is having a massive impact on these animals because their small populations can be wiped out so quickly. But if we move to protect them, manta and mobula rays could be a significant and sustainable tourism resource. The annual value of manta ray tourism based on data gathered from only seven sites is estimated to be 27 million US dollars in direct tour operator revenue. 
and 50 million US dollars per year when associated tourism expenditures are included. Other current tourism sites around the world are expected to yield a further 50 million US dollars per year, while some aggregation sites have yet to be exploited for tourism. A total estimated annual tourism value of over 100 million US dollars per year compares favorably to the estimated market value of only 11 million US dollars per year for the global gillraker trade. At present, there are few conservation measures for manta and mobula rays. Only regionally have several nations and states passed laws specifically prohibiting the landing of these rays. The United Nations Convention of Migratory Species recently listed the giant manta ray as a species of international concern. But there are no binding international protections for any manta or mobula species, nor are they currently regulated by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. If action is not taken immediately in the form of an international fishing ban and trade moratoria for gill rakers, these beautiful and valuable rays face imminent regional extirpations and broad-scale global depletion.